G'day and welcome to today's model workshop. Today I'm going to show you how badly I have done with painting gloss paint on my remote control sand scorcher. This was my first attempt. So all throughout this I've been using um, Tamiya spray lacquer paints, uh, pure white and French blue, and they come in little aerosol cans and I've just been over spraying and spraying too thick and you can see the results. First job was an absolute dog's breakfast. Um, yeah, I actually had a bug flying to the side here, so the bug got stuck in the paint. I wiped the bug off. It left a big crevice in the paint, so I sprayed more paint on, and you can see the runs. Shocker. Absolute shocker. Also not very smart painting outside on a windy day. That was probably a rookie mistake there. But, you know, you can see you've, uh, I'm embarrassed to show this. But, yeah, the reason I'm showing you this today is to say, you know, I've done a terrible job, and I have a newfound respect for car modelers. So that's why the first attempt ended up covered in oven cleaner and in the sink and scrubbed it all off and it's really hardy stuff this spray lacquer it's a bugger to remove so attempt number two uh, I was a lot more restrained with my white paint and I was happy with the result no great big globs no painting outside on a windy day uh, I masked off the blue sections and I used Tamiya 5mm tape, the smaller of the two there, and a brand new fresh roll of masking tape from the local hardware store. And you can see some of the Tamiya tape here, and I did experiments, I tried like multiple pieces versus one long curved piece, just to see if one was better than the other, because I was really quite aware that if the blue seeped underneath, it would be a nightmare to clean. So here it is, you know, getting masked up ready for the blue spray paint and when the masking tape came off it had seeped underneath all over the bloody shop <sighs> and you can see what I was dealing with it kills me that's still with the Tamiya tape on but you can see how much it led under absolutely kills me um, so look I, you know, I don't know what I've done wrong maybe I've sprayed it too thick but you can see they're on the roof so I had to scrape all those blue bits off with a scalpel and that left horrible ridges in the paint, so then I had to come back, we'll see in a second, I had to come back and spray more white, but you can see how much has seeped underneath. And, you know, there's olive, um, orange peeling in, this, in the paint, and I just, you know, I'd like to say up front, I don't know what I did wrong. I'm not good at this, and it's really, really hard to do. Um, so, yeah, that's what I was faced with. Scraped it all off went back for version number three where I was remasking and respraying the white paint and I'll take it up from here so I'm going to show you all the parts where it's really really hard to get a good glossy paint job on a car um, yeah total respect to car nerds because man it's a pain in the ass so at the front here I don't know if you're going to be able to see it tough to catch but so you can see there's little dents in it little pieces of stuff stuck in the little pieces of dust caught in it um particularly up here look at how badly masked oh, look how badly masked those edges are my phone's struggling because there's so much gloss uh, my camera's struggling because there's so much gloss. Okay, that's better. But yeah, look at how badly masked the edges are here and up here. And then look here, there's all this kind of weird orange peeling in. You know, it's not a matter of how I've mixed the paint. This has come straight from an aerosol, but look at that weird orange peeling on this blue panel here. Even a bit on the fender there. Ah, <sighs> killing me. Up the top here, you can see there's a little dent on near the sunroof. And there's that line along the top where I've sprayed it and I masked a bit of... So I had overspray from the blue, it seeped under the... Oh, sorry, yeah, overspray from the blue. It seeped under the masking tape, so I had to scrape it all off with a scalpel. Then that left a dodgy mark, so I sprayed it again. And where I put down the masking tape, it left a ridge. It's just oh, such a pain in the ass compared to, you know, matte finishes where you can weather. Um... A little bit here you can see on the top of that panel. A couple little specks of dust here and there. The masking, oh man, it's just painful. And I'm acutely aware that if I was putting this into a show or something like that, 
I'd be stripping it all back and starting again. But um, the whole point of this one is I'm building it for fun. I want it to be a runner. It's not a shelf queen. So, you know, I don't want a perfect surface there. The first time it rolls over and gets a scratch in it, I lose my crap. But, yeah, it's killing me. Absolutely killing me. Um, I've got it masked here because I'm going to try and fix that ridge at the top there. I've been sanding it for the last day or so. Uh, yeah, at the back it's okay, but you can still see some dodgy masking bits. Um, yeah, some bits where it just didn't work out so well. You can see around here where I've had to touch it up with a paintbrush. Um, I'm also planning to spray the inside again. You can see some overspray, but that's that's neither here nor there. That's not my main gripe. But yeah, look, I'm, I don't know how car guys do it. Trying to get that perfect glossy mirror finish surface. It's killing me. I was chatting with a friend on the weekend who's a car guy and he was saying you know, there's always one speck of dust right in the middle of the bonnet or the hood. <sighs> I'm looking forward to going back to <laughs> painting something that's a matte finish. I'm hoping that you know, covering it all with a big gloss varnish at the end will save and hide a multitude of sins. And I guess once you stick, you know, once the decals go over it, that's going to hide a bit of the drama as well. But, oh boy, it's killing me. All right, let's see if I can fix up this roof that's really pissing me off. All right, back soon. Here it is after several coats of paint. I'm telling you, this kills me. There's still a bit of sketchiness down here, but I've hit the stage of I can't make it any better. And I'm worried that if I keep glooping more paint on, it's going to seep underneath this tape. So, the moment of truth, I'm going to peel the tape off and see if it's worked or if it's bled. Let's check it out. Well, as you can see, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. And it really kills me, you know. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It just goes to show that, you know, everyone who gets on YouTube and says they're an expert, no one's an expert on everything. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. It pisses me off, but you can see where it's kind of snuck up underneath from inside. And just, <sighs> over here, you know, there's big globs of it that's seeped underneath and there's a big ridge line and it's just, yeah, look at that, there's actually bits poking up. Yeah, you can, ah, kills me. So, yeah, look, I'm going to see what I can do. I've, I've been thinking about this project in terms of my 12 commandments of modelling, you know, the, 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 I'm sorry, 10 commandments of modelling and the last one was, you know, fix that stuff before you finish the job because it's just going to bother you if you don't fix it, if you just sort of settle for second best. But with this one, I've kind of hit the stage of I'm ready to settle. I could keep going on this. I mean, look at this bit here. It's just... Blah. I could keep going, and it would just keep frustrating me. And this was meant to be a fun build, so I think it's time to... Look at this, look at this, look at this. Ah. I think it's time to call it a day and just, you know, progress with it and enjoy it for being a toy. It's not a shop queen and just move on with the bloody thing. I am going to touch up the worst of those because they shit me. But it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. I don't know how model car guys cope with this. I am definitely looking forward to going back to building a plane or a tank where you, know, you can have a bit of weathering and it doesn't have to be perfect because <laughs> this was me trying to make it perfect. I don't know if it's you know, my painting technique or what, but I'm not willing to keep going on it. I'm going to enjoy this as a runner and, you know, just suck it up. <laughs> anyway, this is Dave signing off. I hope this has been 
remotely interesting to you guys to show that, you know, everybody stuffs things up sometimes. I stuff things up all the time, but this is one where I just, you know, you gotta know when to call it a day, because I could keep tweaking this for days and weeks, and, and that's not fun. And I don't think it's going to get radically better. Um, yeah, so this is me signing off with my mildly annoying sand scorcher paint job. Uh, and just, you know, this is a everyone has a bad day video, including me. So don't be disheartened if it happens to you too. Alright guys, see you later. Bye. Nurr.